Hey guys, I'm LB, and I'm a bit nervous today. I am a bit nervous because we're checking out Fortitude by K7 Avenger, which, uh, the part that makes me nervous is that it was inspired by Facade, and, uh, those of you who have been with the channel for at least a few months know how that turned out. <laughs> Fortitude is a logic puzzle combining multiple elements, thinking before moving equals solving. Music from Portal Stories Mel, Scototropism by Harry Culligan. Thanks to Hanky Miller and Red Silencer for helping with playtesting. Right, I saved this one for last, or at least I wanted to save it for last, but then K7 Avenger released Phoenix, which is a map that they made with Demon Risen and Hanky Miller, and Hanky Miller makes really hard maps. And uh, yeah, we're playing this one first. <laughs> we're gonna warm up to Phoenix, I think, by playing this one first. I don't- I don't know what I'm in if for here. If you're wondering what that smell is, that is the smell of human fear. Exactly. That, smell. that is exactly the smell. That is exactly the smell, GLaDOS. What is this other door? I guess it's a return pass. That turns off that fizzler. Nothing we can do with that right now. Apparently something something light bridge. Gotcha. Man, this is giving me Metro flashbacks. A button that is an exit requirement and also lifts this up. That's alarming. Everything about this looks very much alarming. <laughs> I don't know if I'm awake enough today to play this, but we're gonna find out, I guess. Another light bridge area. like that... Oh... That... is very reminiscent of the facade, where we've got the laser that goes across and light bridges off a doorway. Interesting. This area is also very reminiscent of the facade. Yeah, I definitely see the inspiration. And it makes me nervous. turns off these stairs, but it turns on our light bridge. Ooh, uh, that's- that's interesting. That's what should have been in the other map where I complained about the move seeming unintended. This makes it much more clear that this is something we can do. But the fact that we even need to do it is what makes me nervous. Oh dear. So the other thing this connects to is closing this door, and opening that door. That is quite alarming. So we've got an airlock, basically. Reminds me of that Lubibapa map, with the, the airlock doors. So thankfully we don't fall to our death in that case. Or, objects, rather. So this is what lifts that up. That goes into the funnel, good to know. And I think the funnel gives us just enough delay Oh, but that, that's not even connected, so never mind. Huh. So we can adjust that from in here, or rather... We can adjust it from... From here, rather. Interesting. Looks like this is gonna be our first task, so let's see, what other portal surfaces do we have around here? Not many, honestly. Well, this one should- that one should work. Yeah. Give me that cube. Uh, I said, give me the cube, thank you. Let's do this. There we go. So now we have two cubes. What? How did- You rotated my companion cube? How did you do that? I didn't even know that was something that could happen! This game, this game is so weird. <laughs> okay, let's, let's, let's get going. I'm still nervous, though. Hmm. Um, just gonna put that there. And, uh, we don't need to walk the long way, we can walk over here. And then I'm not really sure what to do. 
I don't know, let's, uh... I'm also not sure which cube I want to use in which position, so... Why is this grating? Huh. Anyway, let's just put that there, and let's see what that actually does for us, if anything. that up. Not particularly helpful, honestly. Hmm. I don't think we would want to put a cube on that button, that doesn't seem like a very useful thing to do. We've got lots of return paths. Lots of return paths mean lots of ways to make mistakes. Interesting, what turns off the fizzler back there? That button does. How do we get there in the first place, though? I guess... we need a light bridge here? Ah, from there, perhaps? That would be my guess. I think we can jump from this to there, perhaps. Hmm. We don't really have much time... ...to go... ...from standing on this button, to run and stand over on that... ...before that button activates. respawn this cube. I wanna try this one more time, and see what the timing is like. And then we'll go from there, I suppose. Oops, that is not what I meant to do. We might actually have enough time after all. Not quite. Not quite. Maybe, though. Let's try that one more time. I think if I'm just slightly faster, it'll- I'll make it. Not sure how intended that would be, but... I mean, otherwise I'm out of ideas. No, there's... no. Nope, okay. Well then... Other thoughts. What all would we want to do... from here? It's not particularly helpful at this moment. We can definitely block the laser with the lift, just like in Facade. Can't really see anything useful from here. We definitely are supposed to jump into here, I'm pretty sure. Huh. How do I get started? That's a good question. We've got two cubes. I don't know what to do now. Wasn't there a way before in Facade that we could block the funnel with the light bridge? I don't see a way to do that here. Yeah, I don't see a way to do that here. 
There's no way to reverse the funnel either, unlike the sod. I don't know if I should refer to it as the sod or the logical knot, honestly. <laughs> I mean, it's technically both, at this point. But originally it was just the logical knot. So we technically don't need the light bridge to get across over to there. But I mean, it's not really helpful... anyway. I'll just leave this approximately there-ish. What might we want to do in here, though, other than what I've already tried? I'm not really seeing many options, honestly. I can't really do much until I have a cube on the laser button. Definitely need a cube on the laser button before I can really do anything. button doesn't do anything else except turn on the laser. I am genuinely confused as to how I am meant to start off here. Well, I'm just gonna start putting cubes on buttons at this point. Come here. Just walk all the way up here, nice and slowly, like, and put this on here. And I'll just leave it there. And we'll see if anything is different as a result of that. I don't expect anything to be different, honestly, but you never know. Doesn't really seem like anything's different. Yep, that blocks the laser, as expected. And there's no way I can jump from here to there, that's just not happening. I wonder if maybe instead of dropping down here, I'm supposed to jump from that. That might work, actually. Let's load a quick save real quick. In that case, I want to keep the light bridge turned on. So let's- let's put this on the button. There we go. Let's walk all the way- all the way up here. Almost. I wanna try that one more time. That might- that might be what I'm supposed to do if I just walk better. I honestly don't know. This is already feeling rather intimidating. I don't remember how long Nox playthrough was, but I think it was long. Oh. Well. Okay then. Let's try that again, perhaps. There we go. Okay, that worked. I'm hoping that's intended, because otherwise I've got no idea what to do here. Alright, so let's put that there, and jump into here. Yeah, we can definitely jump in here. So. This has a light bridge symbol. 
But I'm not entirely sure... ...that I would want... ...to do that. Cause nothing turns off this fizzler, right? Wait a second, what? Okay, yeah, there's no signage to this fizzler, so nothing turns it off. Gotcha. Well, we've made progress, so let's- let's save. And I think at this point I probably just want to respawn the regular cube before I do anything rash. So let's do that real quick. Let us respawn the regular cube. I'm not sure... I'm a bit confused about why this turns off from that. If, if they're, like, right next to each other, we can just take the cube off. So maybe we're gonna be suspending... a cube on a light bridge at some point, and taking it off would be a bad thing, but... But then... If we have that cube suspended somewhere... Then we would... And if we wanted to respawn it, it wouldn't matter, but then if it was the other cube... Then we would already have this cube and wouldn't need to respawn- I, I don't know what this is about. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> I'm- I'm confused about what that is for. But anyway, let's, uh, let's walk across here. And... We have the light bridge now. Maybe I want to suspend it over this button. Not quite. Ideal. There we go. That's better. Yeah, that makes sense now. So now I can walk up through here... ...and do the portal maneuver that I was showing off earlier. Save and continue. There we go. Hmm. Well, definitely gonna want a Cuban here. If we place our black portal, we won't be able to get the light bridge in here, so we need to place our green portal, which means we can't get the regular cube without respawning it. Alright, let's- let's just do this. So we got that much... got that much taken care of. Let's get back the regular cube by respawning it. Cause I'm pretty sure that's... mostly right. Alternative is just putting the companion cube in there right now. Doesn't really matter though, does it? How are we gonna get a cube back in there again? That's a bit of a confusing conundrum. Once again, I'm not sure what the stairs are about. Let's do this. Oh wait, this is how we're gonna get back inside, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Say Fortitude 1. Let's load the quick save that I had earlier. And save that as Fortitude 0. And go back to where we were. Because I don't want to lose that quick save. Alright, so I've got two manual saves, so now my quick save is freed up. Let's, let's see what we need to do here. So we can go in here, if we so desire. Or... 
we could go in here. Oh! That was scary. I thought I fell, but somehow I didn't. How did that work out? I came at it like just enough of an angle to be scary. Yeah, like that. <laughs> that is scary, man. Yeah, that's falling. Where where this angle is not falling. There's like a little part where you can stand on just the edge barely. Yeah, right here, it's lower down. And that's what scared me. Alright, so. Now we're here. Oh, that's a flip panel. That's interesting. So I need to bring a cube with me if I'm going to do this. Well... Since I don't need to move... I don't need to move that at all anymore... I could just... you know, respawn this guy. Maybe that's what the stairs are for. Maybe that's what the stairs are for. I don't actually know, though. I think the stairs are specifically so that if we're down there, we can't get up to the light bridge again. That would be my guess. Yeah, because we'd have to take- we'd have to turn off the light bridge in order to even... Yeah, hmm. Right, so... Now, the interesting part is... I guess we just... Ooh... That is an issue, isn't it? That flip panel being off complicates matters significantly. Because if that flip panel was still... If we could still use that portal surface, we could easily get the cube... ...into the funnel. I think... This is perplexing. At least it seems like we don't need a laser anymore at this point. Can we do this? Not that it helps at all, because... Yeah, that's not helpful. <laughs> Do this instead. But we can't respawn the companion cube to this side. Hmm. Hmm. I hope I hope I've used the correct cubes thus far. Here's the thing, we have a portal up there. We, if we respawn the cube, we could keep a portal up there. But then what? Mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> I think we do need to respawn the regular cube, but then I need to take it over there first. Yeah. Let's respawn the regular cube. And at this point, I don't think it matters which cubes we use. But we'll use the regular cube over here at this point. I'll just set that down there. There we go. I'll put this in its place. Oh no... I think that was a mistake, actually. I'm not... I'm not thinking properly with this fizzler in mind, am I? There's no floor portal surfaces. Well, crap. Hmm.
But this is what I was concerned about. <laughs> um, I mean, we can do that much. And that's it. <laughs> Alright, gotta do something else. Let's- let's load back to when we had the light bridge behind the Fizzler. Which I think was the quick save. Yes, good. I think we want to keep our portal there as long as possible, actually. Put it in there. Let's try using the laser again. See if that gets us anywhere. Not that I expect it to, but... You know. Because we haven't dealt with that yet, which is interesting. I think I just made backwards progress, at this point. <laughs> yeah, this is... a previously achieved state. Right, that's backwards. <laughs> I've gone backwards in the puzzle. That's not a good idea. I'm pretty sure up to this point... Doing this is correct, but then I don't know what to do next. So I can put the cube here. Then I'm mostly out of options. And I don't have... an easy way to swap the cubes. Yes, I do. Yes, I... do. Kinda. Yeah. Yeah, I can swap the cubes if I want to. Let's try that. I don't think it's helpful, but we'll try it. Let's do this. There we go. Take our good friend the contained cube through here. Okay. But then now what? Yeah, this doesn't help much, honestly. This kinda just makes things worse. I want to go in there... or not. We can do this. We can easily get a portal back there, since that's just... a thing now.
I think we- I think I skipped the part where I would've had to deal with that, because I- I saw ahead. I think I thought ahead and was able to skip dealing with that, so... That's probably taken care of. We would probably. If I respawn the regular cube, we lose the light bridge, so there's no point doing that. How about instead... Let's see if there's anything useful we can do in here. Now that we've got the companion cube where it is. We won't be able to keep a portal over here, but we might not need to. Does that do anything for us? I don't think I need to keep a portal in here anymore, because I can just easily respawn the regular cube, so... Do that... And that. I think- I think this is just, like, completely off-the-rails nonsense that I'm not supposed to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah... Off-the-rails nonsense that I'm not supposed to do. Alright, so I must be close with wherever my quicksave is. I must just be missing some facet of something I can do. Oh, come on. Stop doing that to me. So let's get the regular cube and put it on the button again. There's that. And we can do that, but I really don't think that hel helps. Okay, this does stop at the glass. The perspective- the perspective made it look like it extended out past the glass. Like, because of the way the game's layering is a bit buggy, it honestly looked like it kept on going past the glass. Like, you guys see that, right? The light bridge is layered underneath the glass texture. <laughs> ah, this game. Buggy game. Oh, you can actually see the transition there. Hmm. Like, another thing we can do is that. That's probably something I'm missing, right? Except, how does that help? I don't think that helps, actually. I mean, I can toggle... I can toggle this at will. But I mean, I could just put this to the side and then have the light bridge up here indefinitely, so... I'm not sure why I would want to toggle it at all. Not to mention, I can't really swap the cubes at all. Alright, so, what if I just put the cube there and then I don't use the portal surface until I absolutely need to? Can I do that in any capacity?
also, is there a way... ...to keep a cube in there? I think we already did try swapping the cubes like that already, so I'm not gonna try that again. Let's do this, as usual. We can easily see that portal surface whenever we want. But then the issue is we don't have any portal surfaces... at all. Except for that one. We don't have any ground-level portal surfaces that I can access from the ground, at the ground level. I certainly don't want to do anything involving respawning that cube. What am I missing? I can take this off, lose the light bridge. see any reason to change this out at all, or move this portal at all. Can do this pretty much all day. And that's not helpful. Maybe we want to do that, and then get up there... somehow. Let's... try that, perhaps. Yes, let's try that, perhaps. Except... I don't really know how this is gonna work at all, but we're gonna try it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. Come on, careful. Now we have multiple issues. Yeah, I think this is just multiple issues here. Now I've really done it. Is there a way for me to have a portal up there, and a portal over there, and then also be able to get to one or both of them with this cube? Or without the cube? I think what I'm doing is just random nonsense that doesn't have any purpose or make any sense. I'm just trying everything. I'm throwing science at the wall to see what sticks, as Cave Johnson might say. I almost fixed this. There we go, that was kinda weird how my camera reacted, but sure.
Yeah, I basically just got things back to the way they were now. Like, I keep thinking about trying to, like, respawn the companion cube somehow, but it doesn't seem that useful, honestly. I think this is just a one-time thing that I need to do once. Definitely missing something, though. Not seeing some aspect of something that I can do. There's no way for me to stand up here and get a cube onto there. So, yeah, that's definitely what the stairs are for. I understand the stairs now. 100% stairs understood. Don't think we need the laser anymore, because the laser just does the doors. Um... main struggle is how do I get across to there... ...once I've got a cube on that button. How do... I get across... ...with a cube on the button? Uh, excuse me, I tried to walk onto the light bridge valve. What the heck? What the heck? Why can't I walk onto this light bridge? The light bridge is just high enough that I can't walk onto it unless I'm on the pedestal button thing first. Yeah, that lets me walk onto it. But not like that. I have to be moving already... Wait, wait, what? This game is weird, man. Nothing turns off that fizzler, nothing turns off that fizzler, nothing turns off that fizzler. That's the only fizzler you can turn off, but it's not a ground- the portal surfaces aren't at ground level, so... Hmm. Why is there laser cube signage? That makes no sense. Do that. Then what? Then what? Then what the heck do I do? I think I'm supposed to have the light bridge over top of that. Or at least, sort of, like that. I think somehow, or another, I'm gonna want to put the cube hovering over the platform on the light bridge, but I don't know which cube. I 
that's, that's kinda... close enough-ish. Okay, I can still make that, so... Let's save with this newfound position of the light bridge. Which cube, though? The question still remains, is how do I get back up here... ...without a cube on the button? We only got two cubes in this whole map. And two cubes is not enough... ...to do all the things that I'm trying to do. That means all the things I'm trying to do are things I should not be trying to do. So what should I do instead? Because we didn't lift that into the funnel, if I am, but as soon as I drop off of this light bridge... ...there is not really any going back. There's no getting back on, rather. Yep, now I just... can't get on the light bridge anymore. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can't get back on the light bridge on the other side of the fizzler. There's- there's always this we can do. Let's just do this to see what happens. Cause we have to run through fizzlers and stuff, so we don't have enough time to like... ...run over... We don't have enough time to run over to that guy and have him help us get back on the light bridge, because... ...all our portals will be cleared. So that's out of the question. Yeah, whoop-dee-doo! Can't do much about that, honestly. The light bridge is too high for me to jump on it, like, even though I can do this... I can't, like, jump and do that, that's not gonna work at all. Because the light bridge is too high. Huh. I am seriously at a loss here. I've made it this far, and now I can't figure out what to do. Not really helpful, though. <laughs> it just lets me avoid reloading my save, but that's it. I really don't know what I'm doing at this point. This doesn't help. One of the cubes has gotta be in the funnel at the end, the other cube's gotta be up here with me. How do I make that happen? We've already established that unless I have a cube on here already, I cannot take a cube through this portal surface because of the fizzler. So the only way... 
to get a cube in here is with the light bridge. Yeah, that's- that's it. There's no floor portal surfaces for me to, like, get a cube to launch towards me here. The only way to get a cube in this room is with this light bridge. There is no other way. Which means that the cube that goes in the funnel... Well, doesn't necessarily have to be the companion cube, does it? I think we could get either cube up here. We've definitely had both cubes up here at one point or another. Not at the same time, but... you know what I mean. In- separately. Ah, this buggy game. Don't you love the smell of Larry and his shoes? in the evening, or morning, or whatever. What am I missing, man? I know what I'm missing. I just figured it out. This fizzler is not up against the wall for a very, very intentional reason. A very intentional reason. There is space with which we can store a cube. there. It clears our portals, but it doesn't matter. Right, so then... we do... that... I think? What am I doing, actually? Wait, do I even need to have a cube up here? I don't think I do. No. This is- no. Don't need to do this. I'm making this much harder than it needs to be. Let's put you back off again. I just need to put this cube where it needs to go, yeah. <laughs> Still though, storing a cube would be even more clever if you could somehow make that a thing in some other puzzle or something. But uh, yeah, I figured it out. I figured it out. Just leave the cube there, and leave a portal up there. We put this in position. And since this... yes, that's exactly what I was missing. This whole time, I was missing the fact that I could just do that, trivially. Excellent. And now, we're basically done. We just gotta send the cube up. Yep, that was all it took. Could've solved it half an hour ago. There we go. Awesome. Very nice map, K7 Avenger. Very nice map, and I'm glad it was far easier than Facade. <laughs> Much easier than Facade, like half the difficulty at least. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye! I'm so glad I did not have to look at the walkthrough.